Did you know you can add 10 numbers in a row or 10 consecutive numbers in just one breath? No columns, no carrying, just one clean move. How? Well, 10 in a row means symmetry and symmetry means a shortcut. So here's the first hack, making five equal pairs. First plus last, second plus second last, and so on. Each pair gives the same sum. So the total is five times that pair sum. Let me give you one example. Let's add 29 through 38. First plus last is 29 plus 38, that's 67. There are five pairs, so five times 67 is 335. Done. And here's the second hack, We're using the average. 10 numbers share the same middle. For 10, the average is the midpoint between the fifth and the sixth. So the total equals 10 times the average, which is the same as five times first plus last. Here, let's try it with this. What's the sum of 46 through 55? The total will be 10 times the average. The average of 10 consecutive numbers will be its midpoint. The midpoint here is 46 plus 55 divided by two, so that's 50.5. So the total is 10 times 50.5, 50 so 505. Here's a tiny formula you can keep in mind. If the run starts at A, the sum of A through A plus nine equals 10 times A plus 45. Think, stick a zero on A, then simply add 45. Another example to test this out, let's add 37 through 46. 10 times 37 is 370. Add 45, you get 415. Now let's try again. Add 63 through 72. 10 times 63 is 630. Add 45, you get 675. The reason this neat little trick works is because 10 numbers in a row balance around the middle. First and last cancel each other's distance from the center. It's the same for every pair. And the five equal pairs give a neat total. Average times count is the same idea with different words. Symmetry does the lifting and you just read the pattern. Once you see it, you can start spotting runs everywhere. Page numbers, seat rows, dates on a calendar, and every time the same idea whispers the answer before the pencil even touches the paper.